talking ahead, like in, in the fields about, you know, women in HEMA, and, and there's a lot of things to say about this. Most of it, is, like some of it is like, I don't really care who is in my club. I just want to train. But we have find also, we have, we have also find out there's people who care. So some of you entered when you were only one girl. Some of you have entered when there were some others and find like a little bit, ooh, excitement. So for example, Mary, I always remember that you were mentioning that it's cool to see women doing HEMA, not because, you know, just they're women, but because it's cool to see that people is doing it. Because yeah. it's not normal for girls to do it. So, I mean, I want to say that there's nothing special about women being in HEMA in that, you know, yeah, it's, just, it's the same for us as it is for men, right? We just go through the process and for a long time I was the only girl in my club and that's fine. I just do what the boys do. It doesn't, there's nothing, ooh, different about right, it, right. right? Yeah, totally. I'm just doing it like everybody else. But it's nice to see um, kind of the perceived barriers mm -hmm. kind of right. break down, like... I think um, a lot of girls end up getting dragged into it with their boyfriend or husband, right? <laughs> that and then they never don't, happens. But then they don't like it or whatever. Right. But it's, I think for them especially, it's nice to see, oh yeah, there's someone here who does it and doesn't right. think anything of it. Right. Yeah, yeah. For, I, I just made a joke myself and I didn't realize it. Like, oh, you just like them because they're female and they're pretty. So that's another thing that we see. Like, how can you practice that martial art? You get bruises. You have to be pretty. I do get right? bruises. I get paper cuts too from rapier. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's okay. <laughs> I think that's I think that's a good point. You know, men get bruises, women get bruises. It's yeah. okay for everyone. Yeah. So, Kiana, do you have any comment about that as well? You, oh have God. you ever gotten gotten bruised? I don't. I can't believe it. <laughs> no. You way. really? Um, I think that it's what we were saying before. It's pretty much the same for men or women. Right. Um, it's, it's part of what we do, and I think yeah. that if you're gonna you know, participate in this, then you kind of accept that and, yeah. and learn yeah. from it. Right, and right. It's an important part of what we do. So, Men's Rapier Finals! All right, we're here moving we go. to Rapier Finals. C, white, Sandy C, green, Jessica So, R. Samantha, you were saying um, what a work, uh, what, what sort of work, like design work that you were doing for them? So, I was making armor and uh, weapons for uh -huh. okay. films, and uh, some of the films I worked on included The Hobbit right. and Elysium. We helped build yes, the, Elysium. Um, okay. the Hulk suit that Matt Damon wears. So, it's a, it's a cool. special effects workshop that does 3D design and ma manufacturing for Excellent. fantasy. Awesome. So that kind of work, is that something you're continuing to do now? Or? I'm working in the film industry, so uh, okay. whenever work comes up, I try and... Where do you do a popular person, people? <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. pretty awesome. I, I was yeah. very lucky because um, when I was sco in school, um, The Lord of the Rings came out and yes, suddenly it I became can really accessible for I everyone. can imagine the, the good luck, good fortune from that. Um, and is the, the industry still pretty strong in New Zealand since they're still doing all the work for um, The Hobbit? Uh, the, the industry goes in waves all yeah, the time. Okay. So anytime you're working in a creative or entertainment environment, it's, it, it does this. Right, right, so, right. You, so you look um, for your opportunities as they come. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And gotcha. the, one of the things that's really special about Wetter is it attracts a community and mm -hmm. those people come back again and again. Very good. So yeah, communities that uh, you know interface with yeah. each other all the time. So um, going to the point, that point. Uh, you're from 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 far 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 away lands, which is very 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 interesting because that means that in far 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 away lands, these far 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 <laughs> far old martial arts are in far 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 places. So my question is, of course, in in New Zealand, I mean, I guess it's a little bit complicated to travel a lot out there, you know. 17 hours to the west coast of America. <laughs> That's <laughs> that gives an answer. Well, so my it's question worse than for you, yeah. I know. So my question for you is, um, for that I really imagine that HEMA community there is like very close, if not very. I don't know if it's small or not. So tell no. me in like very brief words, more or less, how is in there? So so New Zealand and Aust Australia, because I assume that they. Yeah. We're um, not that close to Australia. No. It's about. It's about four hours to fly to Aussie. So oh, that's yeah. not so bad, yeah. though. So um, I have oh. trained with some of the Australian schools. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They're doing their own thing. Uh, mm -hmm. We do our own thing. And, okay. And there's some chances to cross and, and meet people and train. But the majority of the HEMA movement in, in New Zealand mm -hmm. is self-generated by self okay. people who have um, a lot of interest in the manuscripts, much like the rest okay, of the world. Okay, good, good. So HEMA is like an evolving sickness. It just pops <laughs> out of... Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Well, actually, it's really good to hear that you know, there are isolated uh, things, you know, sort of coming up on their own 
it's not like you know it, it started in one place and has spread mm -hmm. just independently these things um, are, are of interest you know across the world so it's it's great to see that um, do you have thoughts about ways that uh, hopefully we can kind of further network and, and uh, spread the love I think that anyone traveling to other schools and training with people who don't do what they do is really healthy. Right. And, um, I've learned a ton since I, I left because I've been able to go all over the place. Right. And, sure. You know, everyone's everyone's doing small pieces of a really big picture. Well, there's always the option. If you can go there, you can pick them to your place, huh? <laughs> so I'm expecting you to. I'm expecting you to invite me to New Zealand in a few a more, Yeah, you know, <clears throat> I would love to. Subtle, visit. <laughs> subtle, very subtle. So um, we have we have some fantastic um, people teaching down there, and Good. I would just love to bring them up here and, and sure. help share the That's knowledge. Great. And and sort of uh, who are the folks from that community that? Do you uh, realize she treats the situation? I was talking about going there, now she's talking about bringing. Okay, I, I quit. Yeah. It goes both ways. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So. so Thank you a lot, Samantha. This was like very enlightening. Um, now I think we have to move on to women's. Okay, we were go we're gonna do that. We'll talk yes. a little bit about PBT, PBT though. First. Yeah.